Alrighty, let's see MSI Afterburner detects it as a 470 like it did earlier. Stock settings. Oh, what the heck is this? Well, I was not expecting that. Ooh, I hope I still have the box for this. Ah, oh, sweet, I do. And I still have the bag. All right, so this is a quick random video, kind of similar to my offer up one that I did not too long ago. Well, I mean, it's like three weeks now. I have been slacking. I've not been uh, crunching out videos as fast as I had hoped. I do have multiple videos in the work. One, and I'll show a little bit on the screen now, being the land party that we had in February, uh, as well as another one is my updated rig for 2019, my personal system that I want to go over. But those things I'm slowly crunching along on, as well as other projects, like a build right here that I'm doing for a friend that's not even gonna be on the channel, but he's using that Crystal P3 RGB case that a lot of the tech fam used in our um, RTX 2060 $600 build. Uh, this one's gonna be purple, I'll show on the screen here. So this video is gonna serve as one, an update video kind of to show you guys that I'm not dead. Uh, but two, uh, I wanted to talk about something because I recently bought a graphics card. I will show you right here. So that is a Sapphire Nitro RX 470. And it was posted on Build a PC Sales. It was really cheap. And depending on where you were, the shipping was anywhere from like 10 to 20 bucks. And for me, unfortunately, eBay is taxed. So. At the end of the day, I made a lower offer than what the guy had listed for, and he had a whole bunch of these for sale. In his listing, he said that these are manufacturer refurbished, and they haven't been used since they've been refurbished. He had a lot of good ratings, and a lot of people were happy with their products, so um, I was like, okay, uh, this is a pretty good price. I was able to get it for after shipping, which ended up being like 20 bucks, which is pretty ridiculous. For something that comes in a box this small, um, and the $7 tax, I ended up spend, spending like 81 bucks, but there's an issue with it. So, um, I put in the system and I fired up Unigen Heaven, which is what I usually use to do a quick test. Uh, not to benchmark the card or anything, but just to see if there's any issues with the card at stock settings. I put this one in to a system and I noticed it had issues. Uh, but this is a system that I've used multiple graphics cards from both uh, AMD and NVIDIA on. So I was like, all right, maybe it's just a driver issue because I haven't uh, run like a DDU or whatever uh, to completely clear the driver uh, to completely uninstall it. So then I put it into a system with a fresh hard drive uh, with a fresh Windows reformat and I got the drivers directly from AMD uh, and then I put it on uh, Unigen Heaven and I started testing it and this is what happens. So again, there's the beautiful card. I wish I could keep it because it looks so good. I really like and I want to keep this card but I can't because I'm running into random, oh, there it is, the random black stutters. Um, it occurs pretty frequently and it's not exclusive to Unigen Heaven and the card isn't overclocked or anything. It's on stock settings and I have the latest drivers and this happened on multiple systems. So uh, yeah, this kind of sucks because now I have to return this and I'm going to get my money back. But what I would rather get is uh, kind of like an exchange. I, I want this graphics card for the price I pay, you know, for 81 bucks. But um, I'm not sure if the seller has any. Yeah, he has zero available. Dang it. So I'm not gonna be able to get another one. Uh, so I kind of missed out on this deal. I sent the guy a message. Uh, I'll display my message on the screen. And I basically said, hey, this has random black flickering. I'm okay with mining cards if this was a card that was used for mining, but this is defective, can't get a refund. Let's see, he responded and what does it say? That's all, I tested the card on Firm Market Heaven for 10 minutes here as I do with all of those with no issues. Perhaps you have a faulty power supply. Either way, I'll need a serial number of the card before it's returned. Ah, he'll need a serial number. He wants a serial number, I will give it to him. Okay. 
All right. Serial number. Card number. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna try one more power supply. Swapping out power supplies in a system is like the biggest pain to do. Even though there's not that many connectors, I'm not even gonna put it in the system. I'm just gonna have it sitting on the table here. So the power supply I'm gonna use is from this build right here, which was my old personal build. It's in good working condition. I've used this with many uh, graphics cards. Dang it, I gotta unscrew this thing. Here it is, all right. So let's get this hooked up to this. Please work, please work, please work, please work. This is such an ugly setup. It's hideous actually, but we're gonna make it work. Did I even plug in the HDMI? Of course I didn't. Or the keyboard or anything. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't listen to me. I have zero clue. A Windows update! <clears throat> and since people might ask while we're waiting for this to update, um, yeah, I think that if you had like 100 to 110 bucks, the RX 580 or 480 would be the better buy. If you can't find that, then an $81 RX 470 or 570 is not a bad deal either. Hey, it's back. We're gonna do this. Alrighty, let's see, MSI Afterburner detects it as a 470 like it did earlier. Stock settings, oh, what the heck is this? Well, I was not expecting that. Jeez, what is this? Uh, what? Okay, well, that. <laughs> oh. Well then, I'm gonna try the other eight pin. Though this power supply should have no issues. I'm gonna give the guy the benefit of the doubt, but I'm thinking it really is the graphics card. What was that, huh? All right, I'm not gonna open up MSI Afterburner because that seemed to be what did it. So we're gonna run Heaven. You know what would be crazy if for whatever reason, if this card actually ends up being good and just it just happens that all my stuff oh no, nope, hey look, it's flashing. Okay, I think I think we've rolled it out. I've used multiple Windows installations. I've used three separate power supplies. Yep, there it is. Okay. Is that enough proof? If the guy wants, he can watch his video. But alright. That is enough of that. I'm going to respond to him with the serial number and we're going to get this refund. Thank you all for watching. This is kind of just like a vlog video. This is me vlogging my frustrations with a graphics card that I got that was defective. It was a good deal, popped up on hardware swap. A lot of people bought it. I just had bad luck this time around. But eBay and PayPal are gonna protect me. I would buy this again if it popped up again. I want to do that right now, but he doesn't have any in stock. Maybe next time around I can offer something lower or even get, get a better deal on it. Um, but remember, on eBay you have like six months to test it. It's like five months later I could test this thing and if it had problems, Technically, it would be kind of like a douche move, but I could get my money back. But if this was offer up, I would have been screwed. Never be too careful, never be too cautious. Uh, especially if you don't have much money to work with, it would suck if you were out 80 bucks and you only had like a $300 budget to work with. This is a huge chunk of it. The graphics card is like the biggest component when it comes to gaming performance. So uh, yeah, be careful. Keep that in mind, and I'm gonna end this video before I ramble on anymore. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it will be for my personal build update, uh, which I'm excited to share with you all. Bye.